Is there anything more beautiful than the return of the Jewish people to the land of Israel? You know, when the Jewish people return to the land of Israel, that actually means that God's presence returns to the land of Israel. And right now I'm standing in the courtyard of the Jerusalem city municipality. And I went to prayers in a synagogue at the Jerusalem city municipality. It was full of people. And it was full of people praying to God here in Jerusalem. And I'm like, wait a minute. At the Jerusalem city municipality, we're praying to the God who, who, whose abode is Yerushalayim. And we see Jerusalem being built, rebuilt, because we had a first temple and a first commonwealth, a second temple and a second commonwealth. And now here in the land, it's actually happening. There's no greater miracle. That's the return. That's the proof that God exists in this world. That's so amazing. Now, uh, on top of uh, the beauty of it all, there's also the challenge. And there's a lot of folks, a lot of energies out there that want to stomp on us, want to crush this great return, want to stop God's revelation. One of those organizations is called UNRWA, uh, which is basically supposed to help uh, the Arabs uh, in their refugee-ness. But guess what? It actually perpetuates it. It perpetuates refugee status. It teaches refugeeism and jihadism. It teaches that Israel uh, is an enemy and that Israel is a thief and Israel is an occupier. And that jihadism is basically the right thing to do. UNRWA folks took part in the October 7th massacre. So tonight in Jerusalem, there's going to be a big rally. I'm going to be there to fight UNRWA, to be like, get out of this land with your billion and a half dollars a year to teach hate, anti-Semitism, jihadism, and refugeeism. We don't want that in this land. We want the light of Israel to shine. We want the goodness to shine. We want the truth to shine. That there's a Jewish people in this land that they can coexist with the peoples of this region where the children of Abraham, the Abraham Accords, the Abrahamic region. That's the future. Not your jihadism, not your refugeeism, not your hate and anti-Semitism. So we're going to fight you tonight here, Unra, and you're going to be out of this land. And of course, the good people, lovers of Israel, all have a place here because this place is Jerusalem. It's going to be a house of prayer for all nations. God bless you guys. Shalom.